Do you love working on cars? How about building one? A kit car is essentially a DIY garage project for the petrol head looking for cheap, engaging performance. And the best part? is you get to build it. Whether you seek an ultra rare replica, classic hot rod, or track focused monster, there's a kit out there for you. And guess what? It's your lucky day, cause Ideal Media has you covered with a list of these eight incredible kit cars that are guaranteed to bring a smile to your face. So go ahead, smash the like and subscribe buttons and don't look away because this is going to be one wild ride. Let's go. We gotta thank Keeps for sponsoring today's video. Because here's the thing guys, two out of three males will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And let me let you in on a little secret. The best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it while you still got it. See, I noticed I was missing a little bit here and a little bit there. And what you used to have to do is go to the doctor and get a prescription. Boring. But now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered right to your door. They make it so easy easy and deliver your medication every three months or so. So you can finally say goodbye to those awkward doctor visits and find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and hundreds of thousands of men trust Keeps with their hair loss prevention. So if you know your hair is thinning, do something about it. Since it takes about four to six months to see results, the sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you're gonna save. Ooh. Go to keeps.com slash ideal or click the link in the description to get your special offer for hair loss treatments. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash I-D-E-A-L. All right, ideal fam, back to the show. If you love classic American race cars, but not necessarily their maintenance or gigantic price tags, then you're in the right place. Our first kit car looks like a snake coil to strike with asphalt tearing performance and incredible value. And you know that $20,000 Civic Si sitting in your driveway? Yeah, that thing wouldn't have a snowball's chance in hell with this thing. We're talking about the Factory 5 Racing Type 65 Daytona. Now get this, back in 2009, one of the six genuine 65 Shelby Daytonas sold for $7.2 million, or a small fortune. So you're thinking, I have about 20K in the bank. What? Could that get me? Well, probably about half of a GT500, but that's just not realistic, especially not when Factory 5 Racing is offering a Type 65 Daytona replica for under 22K. Now, before you blow a head gasket or order one immediately, remember, it's a kit car and it requires assembly, just like an Ikea Ottoman. And on top of that, you must source your own powertrain, wheels, and even paint. Yeah. All of those things really add up. But either way, it nearly takes Michael Schumacher's skills to maintain control of a genuine Shelby Type 65. Because get this, in 1964, this thing clocked over 196 miles per hour down the Mulsanne Strait at Le Mans. Bless you. This museum piece with a 4.7 liter V8, 2,299 pound curb weight, and a minimalist tech from 1965 is far from a safe grocery getter. And thankfully, Factory 5 meets ya halfway. Their replica Type 65 is not one in a million, but it's still a looker. It's also wider, more aerodynamic, and sports a high-tech modern chassis that's 14 times stiffer than the original. So negotiating the limit in this car is not only safer, but way easier. The Factory 5 Type 65 Daytona is a capable and exciting historic replica. And guess what? The price for these kits starts at $22,000. Now, you're probably wondering what I would do with one. Well, easy. I'd buy a 5.0 Coyote powertrain for under 10K, find some wheels, and just worry about the paint another day. But that's just me. And I know some of you watching, the Type 65 is a little too iconic. So look no further than the Aldino KO. Now, truth be told, I'm not the biggest fan of the Pontiac Fiero. It looks, well, like a, like a Pontiac. But don't get me wrong here. I do like Pontiac's idea of a small mid-engine sports car. And boy, oh boy, did Aldino agree. Designing a kit both stunningly beautiful to look at and breezy to install. No welding, no chassis modifications, unless you want to, of course. Just unbolt those old mangy body panels, bolt on the new ones, and Voila! Not only does the car look better, but the new fiberglass body panels provide greater structural rigidity. I wish I could say that this kit elevates the Fiero to an all new level, but 
I just can't, because it doesn't. Because looks aside, there's still a Pontiac lurking underneath its distracting fiberglass figure. Yep, the interior, suspension, and powertrain remain Fiero. Just imagine the confusion when people see your quote unquote supercar, and then it gets gapped by a V6 Mustang. Mind blow. This thing is all show and no go. In terms of price, this kit will cost you 12K and a Fiero, but it's an easy DIY. However, if you wanna leave your wrench at home, Aldina will build you one for 36,000 bucks. Not bad, although I wouldn't buy this kit or a Fiero, but that's just me. And if you wanna go on the road a little less traveled and maybe take your kit car on the grass, on the beach, in the street, well, the kit car that you want is based on a 1970s Beetle. Let me explain. The Myers-Banks SS has simple charm and incredible versatility. You know as well as I that 70s Beetles are becoming more collectible and their prices keep climbing. Ooh, that's a good one to use the Ideal Car Strategies on. But back to the Manx, because the Manx is almost as popular as a Beetle. And this little dune buggy is a small slice of automobile history. In fact, many Meyer Manxes were in movies, driven by stars like Steve McQueen and even Elvis Presley. This kit car does require a little bit of finesse to install, and you will be cutting up your Beetle to do it. Owner Bruce Myers instructs you to completely remove the body, which just bolts off. And then comes the cutting. 14 and a half inches to be exact is removed, shortening the frame. And that's, that's just the beginning. This is not one of the easiest kit car assemblies, but you can do it, I believe in you. And once you finish your Manx, what can you do? Well, it depends on which engine you choose. One option is from this car. Yeah, it's the naturally aspirated 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, and it's good for a sprint from zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds. The SS Dune Buggy kits start at 5,700 bucks, and turnkeys are less than 10K. But either way, this is definitely in the running for my favorite kit car on this list. Although this next one should come with bald eagles and a little Led Zeppelin vinyl because it screams muscle, American muscle. Most of us know someone that's been bitten by the hot rod bug, unable to get enough displacement or classic styling. But for just 3,500 bucks, the Speedway Motors 1927 Track T Roadster might just leave you searching eBay for some more horsepower. Whether you do it to stand out at the car club or just drive something special, assembling a 27 Track T Roadster is both fun and fulfilling. I bet Henry Ford would be super proud seeing modern Americans imitate his work. This kit gives you all the 27 appeal in a completely modern package. For just 3,500 bucks, you receive a fiberglass 27 T-body, custom steel frame, and most of the suspension components necessary to roll the chassis. Now, BYOP, baby. That's bring your own powertrain, duh. And I can see you wondering, Brad, what engine should you throw in this thing? Well, my default would be slam a V8 in that thing, of course, but that would be going against Speedway Motors recommendations. because they recommend either a four cylinder or a V6. Wait, what? With this 2.8 liter V6, it weighs 1500 pounds and boasts a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. So I guess if you take their advice or mine, the 27 Track T is still kind of a classic. It's rear wheel drive and it's affordable and not to take a complete detour, but this thing kind of sounds like what Plymouth did about 20 years ago. They stuffed the V6 from the Dodge Intrepid in their otherwise super cool retro styled production car. And the reason I brought that thing up is because it deserved a V8 and I think the 27 does too. But regardless, the Prowler and the 27 are both affordable. And since we're on the topic of affordability, let's provide some perspective. If you only had one word to describe an Italian supercar, what would it be? Probably not affordable. But UK based company Parallel Designs begs to differ. Their kit is called the Torero. And even this stud, Lamborghini's test driver Valentino Balboni seems to appreciate it. Now, real quick, close your eyes and imagine seeing a Lamborghini Diablo. What do you see? Hopefully a gorgeous Italian stallion capable of turning heads, corners, and bank accounts upside down. Like, Think the Titanic upside down. Now, feast your eyes on what Parallel Designs has come up with. Looks expensive, right? But despite its striking looks, there's no Lambo price tag. How's that possible? Well, for starters, you're not paying Lamborghini to assemble your car because <laughs> you are the factory. So you better start treating your welder and instruction manual extremely nice. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, you could have this thing with a V12 engine. This 5.0 V12 though is neither Italian nor reliable but it does have a decent soundtrack.
That's right, I'm talking about the M70 engine made by BMW. Found in this car, the 850i and 750i is built from 1987 to 1996. But it comes with pretty depressing stats. Only 295 horsepower from the factory and a low 5200 RPM redline. Boring. And in traditional BMW fashion, that's only when it works. But you have options and it's always good to have options because the more common choice for a motor in the Torero is the Rover V8. It's got two less cylinders, but some versions can make 340 horsepower. And what's it like inside? Well, let me tell you. Sitting in a Torero isn't unpleasant, but it's not the hand-stitched Italian leather that you find in a Diablo. But hold on a second. Before just shelling out a couple hundred grand for one, a Torero costs a lot less. A rolling chassis will set you back just $5,176. But you want a bigger project? You can save a few bucks because a basic chassis costs 3,155 bucks. The average cost to build one of these kits is around 38K. And if you want a turnkey, just double the number. And if that sounds expensive, well, it is. But just remember, this 01 Lamborghini Diablo VT costs $350,000 or almost five turnkey Toreros. So what would you choose? Because in my humble opinion, the Parallel Designs Torero is a great replica of a Lamborghini. But if you ever park one next to an actual Diablo, get ready to get roasted. But instead, if you wanna do the roasting, well, this next kit car built on a C5 platform is a true racetrack ripper. The Factory 5 Racing GTM is ballistic. Okay, so you got a C5 in your driveway, you got a C6 in the garage, and your eyes, they're on a C7. And I know exactly what you're thinking. Thinking, should I sell the C5? Spend the extra cash and go a little faster in a newer vet? Nah, because you can turn that C5 into a brutal track monster. Plus, it's way cheaper than buying a C7 or any of its competitors. And guess what? It's only a phone call away. So smile and dial because Factory 5 Racing is no stranger to speed. So when they get their sneaky little hands on your C5, the results are truly intoxicating. Around corners, grip levels are ridiculous. 1.05 Gs on street tires. Straight line speed is also brutal. Carbon queuing zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. That's a 10th of a second faster than this car, a Ferrari 458 Spider. The GTM comes with a good old American power plant, an LS6 V8 producing 405 horsepower. And yes, what you're thinking is correct. It's the same engine that comes in the C5 Z06. And all that power is transferred to the rear axles via a custom Porsche 911 transaxle. Hmm, 911 and Z06 parts? That's a match made in heaven. <laughs> Make my nose runny too. Oh, and the price. The GTM supercar kits start at 25 grand and contain just about everything that you need to get on the road. Well, besides powertrain, so BYOP, and numerous C5 suspension pieces. But all you gotta do is find an LS6 and a decent C5 for cheap and you're setting yourself up for success. Or that ideal lifestyle, if you know what I'm saying. And having interviewed a GTM owner a couple years back, it's worth every single penny. And for our next kit car, we don't even have to leave the track. Right across pit lane, we got something truly spectacular. This thing's got 200 BHP per ton, and it's capable of stopping from 70 miles per hour in a gut-wrenching 145 feet. That tastes like Lambo, because that's only 10 feet longer than a Huracan Performante. Caterham Super 7 R400 can seemingly defy physics, but should you buy one? Yeah, yeah you should. The Caterham boys over in Crawley, United Kingdom, have been busy. And the Super 7 R400 is the fruit of their labor. It'll take you to and through the next corner faster than you thought humanly possible. Weighing in only at 1,240 pounds, the best way to describe an R400 is raw. Raw. With inboard front suspension and fully independent double wishbone at the rear, no sunroof, just roll cage, and for the R400's backbone, Caterham uses a Lotus 7 chassis. And what you see is what you get with the R400, a featherweight, razor sharp, and laser focused kit car. And if you want a turnkey example, they start at around $35,000. But 
After your first corner, you will not care. Its two liter four banger makes 210 horsepower and slays 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds. And there is a cheaper alternative route. If you don't mind one with half the horsepower, you can get one for 15K. And with either example, the Super 7 is a blast to drive. And this list would not be complete without this kit car. It would be absolutely unfair for me not to mention this gorgeous replica. Yeah, we're talking about the Lancia Stratos HF. All right, I'm gonna test you because true rally fans, remember the Alpine A110, Audi Quattro S1, and the Lancia Stratos HF. And if you're like me and have fallen in love with baritone styling, you know, the styling of this car, the Dino Ferrari, and with the number of zeros in that price tag, it'll bring you back to reality real quick. Unless, of course, you buy it as a kit, and that's exactly where LB Specialist Cars stole my little heart. Starting from scratch, the STR's modified space frame monocoque is built from the ground up. Designed with functionality and safety in mind, the STR wasn't built to be a priceless replica. Oh no, it was made to be driven. The aircraft grade billet aluminum uprights and nitron coilover dampers makes it feel like you ride on rails. And the four piston calipers on each corner keep things tidy and semi-legal. And I know why you guys are here. You wanna know what makes it go fast. Well, B specialists suggest either a 2.5 liter Alfa Romeo V6, putting out 170 horses, or for those with a little bit more dinero, and definitely the ideal choice, a supercharged 3.5 liter Toyota V6 producing 350 horsepower. And that's the same engine that powers this car, the Lotus Evora, which is definitely an ideal car. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, price. I know when I mentioned aircraft grade, nitron dampers, and Lotus, you were probably thinking, cool, definitely Definitely not cheap. And technically, you're right, but it's totally worth it. See, if you wanna buy a genuine Lancia Stratos, you're looking at half a million bucks. And even if you got one, there's only like 492 examples ever built. So the other option is to build an LB Specialist STR, which costs between thirty-five dollars and $65,000. Yeah, you could use some logic and get a 911 or an M3 for that price, but let's kick logic to the curb for a second because this, this that looks just like a Stratos is extremely special and unique. So that was our list of amazing cheap kit cars. And Cheap is definitely used loosely. So let me and your friends know down below what your favorite is, or did we miss one? And you know what time it is. It's time to pick the ideal kit car. It's definitely a tough choice, but I gotta pick the Factory 5 GTM. I just love its functional body lines, large wing, and extremely meaty tires designed to keep the car planted at high speeds. Throw in the LS6 and I'm powerless to resist. <laughs> So good. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go hit the like button. And also, if you're new here, my name's Brad Danger, and please subscribe, turn on the notification bell. We're Ideal Media, and go check out some of our other Ideal content. And as always, keep living the Ideal Lifestyle.